Howdy folks, TJ here. I've got one big massive box to open up today. No, this is not a retro computer. No, this is not a big cat toy. Although, they're going to love this box and I'm sure my cats will be playing it as soon as I unpack it. But what is this that I have in here? This is a 12 volt refrigerator by a company called Set Power. I've been for a number of years exploring 12 volt ice chests. Years ago, as a test, I purchased a small Dometic style. It was actually one that you put between your seats, and there was two cup holders, and it was actually a compressor type of ice chest. Really neat. And so I kind of got my toes wet with that, and it worked pretty good. But to date, on our camping trips, I would normally resort to a big Yeti cooler, or there's lots of brands out there. We happen to own a big Yeti type of cooler, and so packing it with tons of ice and block ice and ice bombs that we make here at home works pretty well. But if you go camping for two weeks, there's lots of, you have to make a trip to town, get some more ice, et cetera, et cetera. So it becomes kind of a hassle, more money to buy ice. Ice is not cheap. And it seems like sometimes at these small little mom and pop shops or gas stations, ice Blocks are not available. You can only buy cubes and cubes don't last as long. So yeah, it was a pain in the butt. So for years I've been exploring getting a bigger ice chest and I finally pulled the trigger. There's a company called Set Power that makes these really nice coolers. There's tons of brands out there, folks. Lots of companies making them. What I kind of liked about these folks is they are economically priced, not the cheapest, not the highest, kind of right in the middle or maybe a little below middle actually. And they look to make pretty good products. The reviews on Amazon were very good. So I read through all that stuff and said, you know what, this seems to be the one for us. It's not super expensive and I can get a lot of bang for the buck. So I pulled the trigger and purchased the, and this side of the box says it someplace, RV45S. It's a 47 quart. And what I liked about this one, number one, was the design of it. I think it looks really cool. And again, doesn't break the bank. So I wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing today. And then afterwards, at another day, you see I've been making lots of videos about the Echo Flow River Pro, my battery. Well, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna see how long this can run this when we go camping. Again, I go camping for two weeks. A lot of times, and ice, ice, ice is melting. I don't have to worry about that as long as I've got sun, because this will need some sun power. So let's unbox this. The, the box itself is not super heavy, but it is a big box, and UPS delivered it today, and there is these heavy duty black straps on there. So I've got to take these straps off first, and then we'll slowly but surely unpack it and show this set power off to you. So hold tight. Let me go ahead and work these little black things off. Uh, hopefully there's not too... Yeah, there's a good knot in here. I'm going to have to undo this knot first. Because it may take me 20 hours to undo this knot. So I'm going to stop, stop the camera, work this knot loose, and then come back. Okay, there's a cat now in the picture. See, I told you, cats are attracted to boxes. They're like honey and bears. Peanut butter and jelly. You name it. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's going to take me hours to do this video. So the straps, like I said, we're on there pretty good. Uh, you know these, I don't know if this is something UPS put on there so their carrier could get it to my doorstep or something they put on there, but hey, I've got some free straps now I can use. Maybe I can tie you up. <laughs> uh, oh, this is the other side. Oh. Oh. You're adding extra pounds to this cat. Okay, so snippy these. They've got these normal tie strap things on there also. You're gonna see all sorts of cats in the picture. <laughs> see, I told you, cats are attracted to these things. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Go get it, cat. Go get it. <laughs> yeah, they're getting all hyper. Okay. You 
can't see them, but they're played. Well, they can kind of see. So, that's number one. I got the straps off. Now, this almost felt like, oh, look at that. They're kind of smart with the packing. You don't have to plop it and pull it and all that stuff. Okay, that is awesome. Grade A so far on the box. So again, oh, I should have probably showed off the box a little bit. Team lift. So yeah, team lift. Even though it's not super heavy, it's a little awkward. RV45S, set power, and mobile freezer, deep freeze. And then it says multi-level battery voltage protection. So cool. Other sides of the box has some model information which you can't see there unless you got bionic man's like bionic guys like a six million dollar man but rv45s yeah this is all just stuff that you probably don't really care about so let's put this over here for the cats to play in cool wow this is impressive so Look at that, so heavy duty plastic cardboard to frame it out so it doesn't get beat up and boogered up in shipping. Another A. So far packing is really good. Look at that. Uh, see, cat's gonna go in the box over here. Let's put this uh, over here. May oh, I just docked the cat on the face. <laughs> you gotta be rough around this house. <laughs> Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay, so that was a heavy-duty piece of foam. Oh, I can already feel the top of the box here. Okay, so what else have we got? Nice edges. Cardboard, heavy-duty. Awesome. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> okay, uh, more foam. Oh, cat's using it as a scratch pad. Nice job, cat. Okay, cool. So, one more piece over there. Some plastic. Throw it at the cat. <laughs> so, so far, so it's, I didn't have to lift this out of the box and break my back. Very nice. So, but I do need to lift this out. So, Let's make a little room. Back off, cats! Back off, cats! <laughs> You'll find that I'm, if this is the first time watching one of my videos, I'm kind of a jolly guy. <laughs> I try to have fun with whatever I do. Oh! Okay, bottom of box. Very heavy duty, more foam. I'm gonna save this box. This box is awesome. Now, I don't know if there's anything in here in the bottom. I don't think so. Now you're seeing my butt. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's move this over here. And then I'll take the camera off. Glad I found the seat there. I would have fell back. So I'm going to look at it first. I'm kind of stingy that way. I kind of inspect it. Looks awesome. Okay, let me go ahead and take the camera off. And we'll come up here and do a close-up of all this. Cool? Okay. So, there's a cat, cat's butt. So what's cool about this, it does have some latches on the front, which I think is going to, if you latch them down, it could be a pain. I've watched some other videos where, yeah, if i got to deal with these latches all the time, that might be a kind of a pain. But I think I would really probably only latch them when I'm carrying this thing around. Otherwise, I think you can just... Leave them like that. That way the lid will just be ready to open here because there's no lever or anything like that. There's just an indentation. Top of the unit says set power. There's our logo. <coughs> it's got very nice yellow accent. Gray metal. I don't know what type of metal it is. I guess maybe the box probably shows, but it's fairly lightweight. Some vents there for cooling. And then over on this side. And that's a cat sneezing. Handles, what's cool, they are spring loaded. There's your 
panel, which I'll be connecting up to electricity here in a bit and figuring things out. Fuse. You can probably see that there. Fuse, and there's where you're going to plug your AC into. Uh, let's see about this side. Okay. Handle. Back. Cyclopentane. What's that say? <laughs> Cyclopentane. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it does have a chart here of, it looks like, is that for, yeah, what you should keep your food and stuff at. And probably a little, light's probably showing a little glare, but it shows some information about the set power. Okay, cool. So let's pop the lid open. First time. Will a screaming genie come out? I don't know. Let's see. Or could it be like a uh, Harrison Ford movie? What's that? The Indiana Jones. You don't want to open up the arc here. Oh, nice. Okay, so right off the bat, lid holds tight there. What's this material here? Okay, cool. Really nice seal inside there is a box I'll grab that box and put it over here some of the stuff that keeps your moisture away at bay put that over there it comes with two removable and that makes life a lot easier because you can pull these out pack them and stick them in here you don't have to lug your heavy chest into the house and so on so right off the bat very clean inside it's got this let me pull it off here it's kind of a metally feel to it it's contoured it's got a grain to it I guess if you can call it that no plug at the bottom but you're not normally putting ice in this this is going to be all electric cool so that's what the inside looks like. Let's look inside that little box. But right off the bat, yeah, that feels pretty good. So let's see when it when you shut it. Nice firm shut, but that's where these are going to come into place. So if you are going to be carrying it around, there's not a lot of tension to these, just enough to kind of hold it down so it won't lift open and all your food fly out on you. You don't want your beer rolling down the hill. Cool. So looks really good. See, it looks kind of something that you would do an overlanding trip. It has a bit more rugged feel to it rather than just the regular plastic ones. So it's got a mix of plastic and everything too. So cool. Let's go ahead and uh, open up the box now. Don't want the cats to eat that. So yes, there was a box that came with everything. Some tape that's sealing it. Do a quick little slit inside the box. Set power, user manual. Nice, our guarantee is on the back. I should mention another thing that attracted to me about this brand. A lot of the cheaper brands, you got a one year with the compressor that's inside. This comes with a two. So that's kind of a step up right there too. Very cool. Okay. Cigarette lighter adapter with AC unit. It looks like they give you multiple plugs. So power cord's gonna slip in here, some type of uh, adapter. And then on this side, it's got your cigarette or 12 volt type of lead. This cable, one end plugs into this here and the other end into your 110, 120 volt. And then it comes also with cigarette lighter adapter. So this can plug into, actually it's this side. This side plugs in there, and this plugs into your cigarette adapter. So pretty much comes with everything that I see that you would use. So very cool. Um, and it looks like you would almost, yeah, I'm gonna be using all these. So this will connect to here when you're gonna put it into 110 volt. This is gonna plug into here looks like and then this end plugs into there I'll show you that when I get it all connected up and you probably couldn't see any of that because I'm probably below the camera so I need to hold this stuff up here needless to say it comes with all the plugs that you'll need to plug this sucker in 
So very cool. Okay, first test now. So that was an unboxing video. Next up will be a first use video. I'll plug this into an electrical outlet, test it out, see how long it takes to cool. And then the ultimate test, what will it run hours, days wise with my EcoFlow Pro, River Pro. That will be cool. So excited to try to use this. I'll uh, try to make up a, a couple more closer up picks, but I think I kind of showed you around well enough. It's a very rugged looking unit. Let's go ahead and put this here. User guide here. And right up into my lap. Look at that. So not super heavy, spring loaded. Handles feel comfortable. And overall, this thing looks really the part. Looks good, so I'm impressed. Thanks for watching the video. You guys have a rest of your week, a wonderful one. All right, I decided to just go ahead and make one long video rather than break things apart. I will do additional videos on this and this together, but I wanted to try this out. I've now got my Echo Flow battery. I'm not connecting the external one to it. I just wanted to think, okay, I'm going off for a day trip. I want to see if I can keep everything cool. This unit here, from what I understand, pulls about 55 watts. This here has 720 kilowatt hour battery. I know it ran my big refrigerator, this and the external one, which together has 1440, I think, uh, kilowatt hours. Ran my big 20 year old refrigerator for 10 hours. So I'm thinking this and that thing pulls 130 watts and then more if you open the doors. And yeah, it pulls quite a bit more. So I'm hoping this alone can run this, I'm going to say, a day. Sometime tomorrow I should come back and this thing should be off. What I'm going to do is just throw some water in there and an orange, something simple. But we're going to try it out. So this is the first time I'm connecting it up. I did grab, and I don't know if the proper PC word for it anymore is cigarette lighter. I still call these cigarette lighter adapters, but it's 12 volt accessory. So I'm going to plug it into the 12 volt slot on my EcoFlow. So this is the first. I have not tried this port yet. So plugged in nice and easy. This thing is off. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Now I kind of scrimmaged through this user manual. By the way, the manual's nice. It's not bad. It's got eight pages. And uh, basically it just kind of covers the safety information and how to use these buttons and such. So we're going to kind of wing it mostly. But I did want to read off earlier when I called it Cyclopentini or whatever I call it. Hey, that sounds like a good Italian food. Uh, C. Pentane is the insulation inside. So that must be the word and they have to plaster it on the back of the unit so let everybody know that's the insulation. I've never heard of it before, but uh, the metal, it just says metal cabinet. So even when I went, uh, some kind of metal, uh, maybe aluminum, I don't know. It just says metal. That's it. Uh, and then it talks about the various specs on this. This can become a complete freezer, can become a complete refrigerator, not both at the same time. It doesn't have compartments where you can do half and half. But at this point, I just wanted this big boy, 47 quarts to handle most of the day-to-day -day cool drinks, foods that just need to keep refrigerated. And if I want to do something freezer, I may get a second one, a little bit smaller for frozen stuff. So anyway, I've got this on. Let's go ahead and I I'm just going to hit the, the on-off button over here. Oh, I, I got to turn this port on first. Here we go. DC on, off. You gotta turn that on first. Then over here. Or you gotta hold it for three seconds, I think. There we go. Now it lit up. Band's kicked in. Let's move this in a little closer here. You may want to see some of this. may or may not edit that out. <laughs> okay, so right now, as it stands on this on max, this on low, which I think I'm going to keep low. At this point, uh, these batteries can be drained pretty well and protect themselves. It's not like a car battery. battery. I'm going to start things up. 61 degrees, it says it is. This thing is telling me it's going to run for 
30, 20, all over the place. 13, it's probably digesting a little bit like my lunch. <laughs> what it is that it's going to last. Now, I think for me, I don't need this to cool really fast right now. It's, I'm going to put it down the minimum and see if this display here changes up a little bit. It looks like it's kind of, a, again, all over the place. This is 100% charge. It is pulling 50-something watts. And I should have plugged in, maybe, uh, oh, I can't do it on this. I was going to say plug in one of my meter uh, reader things that uh, keeps track of how much power. But this does a pretty good job. It's pulling 60, 40, 20. It's kind of a bit all over the place, too. But let's go ahead and change this down the minimum. The fan's got a nice gentle hum to it. It's not obnoxious. Okay, that bounced up. Well, it's about still all around, 30, 20. So ultimately, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. 61 degrees, minimum, low. So I'm just going to let this sucker run. Don't touch it! Let it run! But I do want to show you, so... What have I put in here? An orange. <laughs> and I did get a... This is just a cheap little... It was out in my garage. This thing says... 70, you're not going to see it from here, but it's a cheap thermometer. We found it on the road. <laughs> uh, 70 degrees. This is saying 61. This thing may be completely off. 70, yeah, this says 71. So I don't know if that's really true or not, but I want to plug it in here and we'll see. I need to get a good one, a good thermometer. But let's go ahead and lap, oh, the light. Let me show you that. Let me take this off. So, oh, so you can hear the noise, too. Six-pack of water, an orange. And, yes, it's got a light in there so you can see in the nighttime. Very cool. So, okay, let's go ahead and shut the lid back down. Let me put this back on here, and then we'll wrap this up. And then we'll come back when we've got some final how long it takes to cool. So it's saying 61 degrees. Again, I've got it to the minimum, so it's gonna take a lot longer, I think. That's all right, I just, hey, I'm out in the boonies and I wanna kinda of slowly get this cold. Not loud, my battery's barely on. Let's go ahead and turn this on one more time. Saying 30 watts, 29, it's really sipping. Uh, 50, so it's kind of, it kinda of bounces a bit around, but. Yeah, 20 some odd hours. I think this can last a day. That's my thought. And if I didn't have to get it all cool in one shot, maybe it lasts longer. But let's let it run. We'll come back tomorrow and see what this is, if everything's cool inside and if it's still running or not. Welcome back, folks. 24 hours later. Time to see how much juice this took. This morning when I woke up, I peaked. It said that I went from 100 down to 75%. That was quite a few hours ago. So I'm going to guess between 65 and 70, this thing sips power so far from what I'm seeing. In fact, it's not running right now. It's nice and quiet. When I walked out here, temperatures fluctuated anywhere between 38 and 43, at least from what this little panel shows. It's still on minimum, on low for battery uh, saving. And uh, so I set it at 39, no, I set it at uh, 41 degrees, that's right. So 41 degrees I set this at, and it's been fluctuating between 39 and 43. Very, to me, perfect. Again, very quiet. Now the big thing is after 24 hours, how much? So let's see what this little guy says. 70%. Can you see that from there? I sure hope so. I can bring it closer if you don't believe me. 70%. Right now, it's not using any power. So in 24 hours, this only used 30% of the battery capacity. And that's without that external battery connected. So what does that tell me? Well, another 30% would be another day. Another 30% would be another day. And then the battery... I don't know quite if this battery can drain down to 10%, 15%. I'm going to guess... They need to save themselves a little power so they don't self-destruct or whatever. So at least for surely, another 30 off of that would bring it down to 40%. So there's another day in there. I would say at least another half a day.
to be kind of safe that it would get down to about 30 percent and that's when maybe this battery is going to say hey i've had enough you need to charge me up i'm gonna probably keep letting this run for a number of days but for now for this video which is all about the set power am i blown away yes sips power 24 hours later if i wanted to take a weekend jaunt this is telling me i could just charge this battery at home take it with me and not even have to worry about a solar panel it would run this and everything inside of it for at least 24 hours times two in my opinion i think you could get a solid two days out of this setup without even charging it my solar panel is quite small it's 100 water so as long as where i'm going is sunny technically i could take one with me and probably since it provides well they say it's 100 watts and you know that's never true I, I did some solar tests recently and I was getting about 50 to 55 watts out of a 100 watt panel being pretty religious about pointing it at the sun but this thing only uses like I said I wish I would have had a proper gauge I could have checked through a 12 volt on how much actual uh, wattage it used in that four or 24 hours I may connect it up to my AC outlet because I've got one of those little devices that I could connect uh, connect up to AC and kind of monitor that. But for now, this thing sips power. It says 55 watts on the paperwork, but as you can see, it turns off quite frequently and doesn't use it. So I guess there's a happy medium. Is it 25 watts, 30 watts, 35 watts, something in there? So I'm really thinking I could probably, in endless, endless use, if I had one solar panel that offered a hundred and even if I only get half of that 50 I could probably keep this refrigerator running forever as long as this doesn't crap out or the Sun completely goes away for days on end which can happen uh, I live up in the northern part of California and we like camping up north of here up on the coast and it can have dreary rainy days so anyway wonderful unit so far so good let me uh, actually pop this open Lights on. Oh, my orange is ice cold. This is nice. Oh, how about my thermometer? Let's see. What's this say? This says 41. I don't know if this will pick up. Sometimes you have to kind of have it at the right angle, but you can believe me. I'm not a liar. Saying about 41 degrees, roughly. And this is a pretty... I found on the side of the road. And uh, yeah, why don't you use it? It seems to actually work. But I'll get a nice little clip on one for here at a later time. So what do I do next? Should I let this actually run for a long time? I may let it run another 24 hours so it drains down and see what tomorrow's like. Because I'm not going to use this for the weekend. And uh, test it out some more. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. We'll be making more videos on the Set Power. Very nice product. Uh, I emailed the folks at Set Power and just said, hey, by the way, I'm, I'm going to make a video on this. I'm going to post it. And they were nice enough to message back and say, cool, if you post a video, here's a link you can provide your viewers that will give them, I think it said 12% off of buying one of these. Hey, 12%, that's not too shabby. That's double the tax rate of a lot of places, right? So you're saving tax plus a little bit more. And uh, I'll post that down below now. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask them if there's a cutoff date that that uh, link can be used for. I'll try to post that information down below. But if you're interested in one of these, it, so far in my 24 hours of testing, quiet, works well, keeps stuff cold, just barely wants power. I, I, like I said, I'm going to do more testing. Maybe I'll do it on the AC and I'll figure out uh, what it's actually uh, drawing watts-wise per hour and maybe I can figure out that but to tell you the truth for what I do this is perfect it looks rugged it looks the part I'm not gonna you know bang stuff against it. I'm gonna try to keep it protected they don't make a cover for this it'd be cool if they ever did actually make a cover for it which would be nice but at this point I'm gonna probably throw a towel or something over it, as long as I don't cover these vents or maybe I can make something up but uh, anyway that's it set power RV 45s so far, so good. Thanks for watching this very long video. Hopefully you uh, were able to get through it all and found my video enjoyable. And I'll come back for more. I'm thinking they have this nifty little 21 quart one. And my wife and I have other smaller cars, like a little Volkswagen Beetle. 
uh, or bug, and I'm wondering, hey, maybe I should get one of those 21 quarters, something smaller for, again, just a day trip, enough to keep a few, some drinks cool and your food for the day cool. Because this is more than a day's worth of food. This is going to be a lot. But maybe a smaller one, so I might be buying another set power here soon. So thanks for watching the video. Have a wonderful weekend, folks. Peace. See, I did not lie. Cat in the box. <laughs>